It is new pedal day today at Anderton's. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Lee. And I am Pete. He and is indeed. Oh, 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 uh, please oh, oh, like and subscribe to this gear infested channel. <laughs> uh, every time we get another 50,000 new subscribers, we give away something. And ultimately, when we get to a million subscribers, we're actually giving away one of the pedals in this video. Oof! Clon! That one. The Clon. Yeah, no, this one. It's uh, the Clon! <laughs> of all of the pedals in the history of pedal kind, none uh, has really captured the crazy imagination uh, on the secondhand market as the original Clons. And how did that happen? I who don't know. is to blame for this? It's unobtainium, isn't who's, it? But it's who's to blame? You, it's because you how? can't get one because he doesn't make them. No, but enough. who? But it met, it must, somebody must have posted a picture of them using it, and then it went. Oh, well, everybody wants that now. Maybe. Who anyway, is it? a clone like this um, will cost who? you four or five thousand pounds, dollars, whatever. Now, crazy, crazy money. Yeah. Um, it's plateaued a bit, hasn't it? A little bit. Perhaps everything has. It's more important to pay your heating bill, I think, than buy a clone. Is, is it? it nowadays? Um, anyway, That's so a here's a clone. Uh, we did, which you can watch up there, or if you can't see it up there, it'll be in the description. We did an ultimate clon shootout video not that long ago, where we took, I think, eight different clon uh, alternatives, Clonf including an original one, yeah. uh, to see which one. And blindfolded, the, wasn't it? It was blindfolded. And I believe the one that yeah. won was the little old Tumnus, yeah. uh, which is a great I little pedal from uh, Wampler. And He's in your the cupboard. latest kid on the block now are the guys at Warm Audio have done the Centavo. Uh, which Centavo, is, is that is, what it's called? Yes, Centavo, which as you can see is using a housing um, pretty much identical and knobs pretty much identical to the original one. Wow. So let's see. We've got the quartermaster here. So uh, number six is this one. Number four is this one. Number two is this one. Okay. Yes. Uh, we've got a... We're going to use a uh, Silver Sky for now. We have Silver used sky. the official John Mayer settings on the Clon to just get us started, which is not what I thought. You know, most people talk about massively boosting the output and having the gain quite low. He has mm. the gain and the output um, at about 11 o'clock and the treble about 1 o'clock. He signed it on somebody's Clon, didn't he? John Mayer, and he put his settings on. Yeah, maybe we'll put a picture cool, of that online that's now. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're into a Friedman Little Sister, oh, a little again. 1 by 12 cabinet. Sounds again. great. Again. So with no pedals, it sounds like... To be fair, on John Mayer's pedal board, I believe he uses the Clon in conjunction with other pedals as well. So this is, you know, the John Mayer bit's just it's a bit of fun. It's £150,000 amps. Probably. Right, so a real Clon sounds like this. We're oh, using uh, every single one is being powered by a 9-volt Fender engine room supply. Um, the Tumnus. There's a bit more volume in that, is there? The Warm Audio Centavo. I mean, I'll go through them Let's without talking. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, go yeah, through yeah. them now without talking as we're going along. Okay. So. Man, what's the whole? Why are we doing these videos again and over and over and over? One, it's just a question of if do you want something that looks like a real clone? Do you do you want some more less space in your pedal my, board? Or? My personal feeling, obviously, if you want a real clone, you got to go and spend an absolute yes. fortune. Personally, there's the 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 Seriotone do uh, yes. the same again. That's the other one with the same enclosure. Yeah, I think the trick here is to either buy the Centavo or the Seriotone one, but then scuff it all up and take all of the stuff off. Because you need it to just look 
people will know as soon as that's all shiny and stuff, they'll go, oh, that's not real clone, is it like that? You need, you need a beaten up one. So what you want to do is get this one, take all the stuff out, put the enclosure into some sort of like can of, you know, bottle of Coke poured over it or something for a few out, days. But, yeah. yeah, chuck it around the backyard a bit, a little bit and then put it back together and just, I don't know. And then and even don't do that, just buy a clone then. I mean, there must I, be I, something. I don't think the tumblers. I mean, why have a pedal that takes up this much space when you can have a pedal that because takes you up just this said, much space? Oh, yeah, because you want to look like you it, want it, it, it wants, you And want then you go down to your local blues jam, at your, you know, with your uh, knock-off clon and, and everybody's got John Mayer riffs you, badly. You know, back to you drinking, <laughs> <laughs> talking, nobody cares Let, anyway. Let's but see if it sounds different on some other settings. Let's get so, some more gain out of it, please. Okay, that's where I'm, I'm taking thinking. gain up to, say, one o'clock on each pedal. Way that. more gain. So let's just back that down a little bit here. Much more volume as well. Yeah, that, this one needs a bit more volume. How it, it's funny how it kind of goes, you play ding 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 and it does a little dip into it. Have a listen. I'm not, or maybe not, I think but you're just maybe feeling, I'm that, feeling maybe. it. It's a little it's sound annoying that this is. So you get that little pop. Something about a bit more fatness in that, I think, but man. Oh. In this, it's, I, think right? it's, I think it feels like. Go between those two, please. You switched there. <laughs> my eyes closed. We were gonna. There is this, but I mean, I had my eyes closed now, and I couldn't tell the difference. So there's no point. I mean, what? The, the thing I think, <clears throat> what I need to do, <laughs> which I can do. Uh, let me just think. What can I get? I just need to obscure what I'm switching, so that these guys over here get a chance to play along. Oh well, let's so, do. It. We'll just put a little thing a... on here. We'll put a. Oh we'll yeah. Put a, okay. We'll, so we'll so we'll obscure fine. the screen now. So what you'll see, you won't see that. You'll just see a little blurred out bit here. Okay. And then you won't be able to see uh, what we switch between. I'm going to I'm going to go through right. So it's blurred out now, right on yeah. the screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Screen. Right. So you can't even see what I'm going to even put my hands here so you can't tell which one I'm pressing. Okay. All we right, can blur Mr. It all Pete, out, let's yeah. go. <laughs>
I've got, I've got... To be totally honest with you, I was changing quite a bit there and I suddenly realised that what you're not going to be able to do is anything. So here, one last time, <laughs> we'll play... I will play... We'll, we'll just, I'll just go 10 seconds on one, 10 seconds on the next, 10 seconds on the next. That's it. Won't That's change it. back here. Okay. And then you guess, all right? So okay. this is the clip you've got to guess on. Ready? So let's... Blank, blank, blank. blank. Hey, hey. think, going back to it, I still think the Centavo has got slightly more fatness to it. Wow, I will. think, in my opinion, the, the real Clon and the Tomness are still closer, but yeah. I like the fatness of the Centavo. Change like, guitar. Like play something completely different, like a Les Paul or something. I can play and that's the Oh, and that last little run through. And then, of course, the other <laughs> new pedal from Warn Drive is another. And not quite as famous as the Clon, but pretty famous in guitar playing circles. They've obviously done their version of a Zen Drive. Um, so look, here we go. We'll just no, not trying to obscure anything now. We'll just do real clock. <laughs> It's a great sounding it's overdrive, a good isn't sounding it? Overdrive. Yeah, it's a good sounding overdrive. It's a, a great slightly cr cranked amp. There's yeah. a little going. Come on, come on. Okay, come so on, come real on. clon. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it sounds about right. It's all right, isn't it? It's just. Uh... I think you're right. I it's think the Wampler is probably a slightly, slightly more accurate, closer, and then the Centavo's. It's. I mean, it's 99 the same, but with just this slightly fatter bottom end. Um, um, so just there is a mod switch on this thing here that, that does something right. with the high pass filter or something. You are right. But let's... You know, so we've been the whole demo so far has had the mod switch off. Down. Yeah. The mod, according to the manual, the mod switch changes the high pass filter and does seem to extend the low end a bit. So, yeah. a bit weird if it's, if this is already sounding it was slightly fat, fatter right? than these two, yeah. potentially all that's going to happen is it will get fatter still. Let's just go back to, I don't know, like an everything at 12 o'clock kind of setting. Uh, I don't think we've actually done everything at 12, have we? And now the mod switch on. Okay. In fact, I tell you what I will do. Sorry. Uh, YouTube land. Let's just fo let's just do the mod switch on and off, so you can come yeah, yeah, here. So first, yeah. here's off. So it's <laughs> wow. I can't hear anything. Can you try maybe as a gain, put more gain on it, and see if more that does gain, anything? Yeah. I mean, I can hear it turn on and off, but can I mean, we can we go back to the strat? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, the silver Oops. sky. <laughs> oh. Naughty Lee, naughty, naughty, Lee. naughty, naughty. That's me. So down. Let me try to pick up. I don't know what the point of the pick up switch is, to be honest. Yeah, 
I, I can't tell any difference. Really. As you switch it, I don't think it adds more bass end as such. I think it just very subtly changes the characteristic of yeah, the yeah, bass yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, I mean, Oz it's is sitting huh? further away and Oz says he's hearing, he is hearing a slightly more distinct change. Yeah. So maybe, maybe you will on the, on the close mics. Jinx. So... Well, let's go back to this, uh, uh, to this pool and get some quad we... gaining. Okay, okay, okay. Quick, okay. Let's just, so, uh, all right. Let's go look. back. 12, 12 o'clock first. Let's go 12 o'clock. You sure? Yeah, yeah let's just have oh, that. Yeah, okay, really so mod switch off on this. In other words, okay. down. So. so everything at 12 o'clock. Everywhere, oh. everything at 12 o'clock. <laughs> gaining that thing there. I think you feel like you have this. to back off the gain a little bit. I, I just felt, and again, whether this is because the clon is old or the we real clon, I, I just felt it It felt like it needed a tiny bit more treble and output yeah. compared to these two. But mind you, the two clons we have here sound different as they well. They do Slightly as well, yeah, they do. Which is weird, but there we well, are. Well, it's not, it's not weird. You know, it is, you, it is. You've, got, you've got three pots in here that, you know, every single pot that comes off the end of a production line will, will have a slight tolerance in there. Yep. So you can't say because everything's at 12 o'clock it'll be the same nope. value. You've nope. almost got to get some sort of electronic reading device and go, oh, where, where do the actual set, where do the knobs need to be set to be the same yep. values? Yep. But, oh, look, man, I mean, I'll whack it up. We'll go full up, bore maybe. rock tone from all three of these. I think... Oof. I think, I think that I still think the Tumnus sounds more like the Clon. I think so. I think it's good. But yeah. I do think what these guys have done is almost give you like, an, not an, an improvement, but I like, you know, in other words, I like the slight yeah. subtle differences that there are on the Centavo as well. So. And it's only the second version that is out there that looks like it. So, you know, yeah. like we talked about the um, um, Seriotone, let's say, yeah. and now there's three. First there was one, then there was two, now there's three. So you need to do Wampler. Yeah. Why can't you, Wampler, just make the Tumnus in a box that makes me look like a wannabe exactly. clone owner? And with Tumnus on there instead. There Mr. Tumnus, Mr. Tumnus with Tumnus. the little thing holding that. Absolutely. You know, he's in your carpet, be careful with him, man. Careful, he's, children. He comes in and Right, and rock out. Oh no, hey, it's, it's, don't night. go away, because we're going to do this one in a minute, yeah. but a last quick. That's what the clung oh. I really love. You got it? What's more gain? I still think it's got more low end and more yeah, gain in that one, but I hey, agree. that's just my opinion. No, there we go. Well, look, that's yeah. it. It's right. got yeah, go, 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 go. I so, want to hear this one. I'm excited. Uh, I, I forget. Do you know what? I should really do some research, didn't I? But I forget. Was the Zen Drive, um, was that a love pedal thing? I think it was. Did he do the Zen Drive yeah. originally? And, and or... it's a big, bigger um, no, quiz No, I tell a lie. Point. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. I think the Zen Drive was a Hermides or that's something it. like that. And then Love Pedal did a deal with him and had a proper that's license true. version of it, didn't That's true. That's true. Something that's true. like that. And then I vaguely remember there were players like, was it Robin Ford? Chris Buck. Stuff that, was it Chris Buck? Chris anyway. Buck, yeah, there's lots of people who use that, man. Lots of people. So I, I must admit, I've been, um, we used to do a bit of business with Love Pedal, but I know over the last year or two, I think maybe since COVID, he's gone back to just selling direct tiny, tiny numbers. Don't yeah. even know if he does his Zen Drive deal anymore. So you certainly, the, the Zen Drive is a, is a tricky pedal to... Um, 
to find nowadays. So, yeah. you know, maybe this warm drive thing is the way to go. Unfortunately, what we Stick don't it in the middle, have... Then. Stick it in the middle. Uh, okay, what we don't have is, um, is an original one to compare it to. So no. you'll just have to sort of decide if you like it or not. So if you do have um, one, send it in and we can compare it. Yeah, Chris from Pedal Porn, please could you send us your Zen drivers? <laughs> I'm sure, you know... And we will now send them back. You are our go-to guy for having any pedal under the sun. The pedal man. The pedal man. Right. Left. Uh, okay, so what controls have we got on here? Let's just... Actually, we need some power. Uh, hey, you oh, want to swap it around? Oh, I sort of do, but it's fine. There we go. Right. Oh, we city. have got volume, gain, tone, and voice. Um, here's without. Do you know what I can do? I can read the manual. Maybe I should just... <laughs> I do. Yes. I should have done this in the first place. Hey, so, no, that's uh, volume right. and gain, you know what they do. Tone is a conventional post gain tone control. Voice is a pre gain tone control. So, if, if, if you add um, treble into this, this will also drive the actual pedal a little harder as well. Sorry, I just yawned. Um, that's fine. You've got the manual out. Uh, immediately, yeah. I just start. Uh, it is a buffered bypass pedal. So is that one. Is it? Yeah. Uh, it. Uh, it says it has an authentic metal enclosure, as opposed to... Uh, it's, it's who did Gibson make that then? Mark Agnesi makes these. Um, <laughs> they are... Uh, runs a off a battery or a 9-volt supply. We're using a 9-volt supply. Oh, here we go. This was the bit I wanted. Goodness me, check these out. Uh, they have matched the components to the original. Uh, so it has a 2N7000 MOSFET, mm -hmm. an NE5532 op amp, carbon resistors, and a 1 N34A germanium shot key bat 41 diode. It sounds Whoa, literally wow. electrical engineers have just gone hard all across <laughs> yeah, the like, internet. <laughs> Holy moly, or moist, depending on uh, well, what kind of engineer you are. Right, or both, you never know. Right, let's have a little listen. Oof, Got no okay. idea what to expect. Ooh, nice, ooh, like that ooh, sustain. It's like, a, it's like the dude. <laughs> It's a, that's a rock and oh. song there, isn't it? It's like... I don't know what order these videos have gone out, but uh, Pete and I spent literally a day <laughs> making our new pedal boards. That's going to go on your board now. And as we finished it and we started this video, we just went, I wonder if either of these pedals will end up going on the boards. Like, And I have to say, I, the, the, the Klon does a thing. Yes. It's like, I, I kind of like it. If I was going to put, I didn't put one on my board. I Sorry, talked about I'm going again. Yeah, it's tired. Christ. That I really like. Yeah. How annoying is that? Okay, let's That's get some great... Right, not not a big fan of its super low gain, kind of a bit characterless. I liked it, I liked it. Like a, it's I almost like a Jeff Becky. There. Is that, yeah. is there, I tell you what's always fun wide, that sort of... is uh, finding out how all pedals all sound the same. So let's just see. <laughs> let's just see. Actually, probably you find that the clon sounds identical, but. Smoothie, it's smooth, yeah. smooth, smooth uh, or distortion. That's much wow, more super fat. That's a great sound. That sounds fantastic. fantastic. So 
interesting. So that if we do the voice thing, you can absolutely hear the extra gain being added in as you as you turn it up. So. Yeah. Whereas tone just works as a conventional tone control, but he's doing some rage against the machine. No, I'm not complaining. Robert right. Ford. It's not that kind of drive, is it? It's more a smooth so. lead drive, isn't it? What are I? Thing Clonny is always so good into another drive pedal, and it, isn't and it? it? And it, it has got that sort of, if you just put more... Well, there you are. That's so, a good one. Uh, warm Audio, if you're not familiar with them, we've been selling their kind of outboard yes. stuff uh, studios for a long yes. time, but pedals, uh, they have four pedals in the range. Um, I think it's a, there's a there's a phaser and something else. I can't remember yeah. when it came out last year. But these are the two exciting ones. Uh, yeah, links below. Check them out. They're good, man. I think they're both under two hundred pounds. So are they? Yeah, they're not sort of stupid. Are money. they? Yeah, I think so. Are they? Anyway, links below. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, <laughs> and we shall see you next time. Au revoir, you mother. <laughs>